Hey, how's it going? Hey, if you're watching this video, it's probably because the title caught you or you were um, you were already watching some of the other videos that I put out. But I wanted to share with you my thoughts and what happened with the crash on the 4th of July. Now, first I just wanna say, really appreciate all the feedback that everyone's given me this far. But I wanna say this, this could have been much, much worse. I walked away literally with just a bruise on my foot and that was it. And so having that said, I really got away with something that I probably shouldn't have. Um, I had just a little tiny soreness and muscles, but this could have been tragic. If I didn't have the correct, or if I didn't have as much back support as I do in my Gin Genie 2 harness, which is kind of an older harness, but it has some back support, it has some cushion inside there. But I just wanted to take just a couple minutes, um, literally just a few minutes, to analyze what went wrong. So my first mistake was overconfidence. I made the decision that I was going to try to spot land and it was outside of my scope, if you will, of my abilities. And so if you were to go backwards um, a few flights, the crash flight was my flight number 60. And uh, if we went back to 53, that was the flight when I was shot out of the air by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, that was a mess. Um, but if you watch flights, or I should say landings, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, I was getting closer and closer and more and more I was building confidence and getting uh, the spot landing down. I had come close before, but this was really, I was getting much more confident and I became overconfident in flight number 60 coming into the landing. Uh, my second big mistake, was that I was not understanding or not knowing what my wing was actually doing. Um, you need to know what's happening with the, wind, uh, with the wing behind you without looking at it. And I felt the brake pressure drop and I assumed that the wing was surging over my head like normal, uh, but what was actually happening is the wind, wing was falling backwards behind me. And this became my detriment, and um, it, it happened very quick, as you can see in the video. I didn't have time to adjust. I didn't have time to turn. People talk about uh, uh, parachute landfall on the ground, uh, the the uh, uh, emergency collapse, uh, you know, falling on your side and trying to distribute the the impact. I didn't have time to think of any of those things. It literally. As fast as I blinked my eyes, I was falling on the ground on my back. And uh, I would guess, you can judge by the video, it was probably about uh, between uh, 8 and 12 feet off the ground. We'll just say that to be fair. My third mistake was I was focusing too hard on the target and I was forgetting about my ground speed. And this is very critical. You can have uh, a, a great landing with tons of speed. You just have to kind of ride it out and then you uh, check your brakes at the end. But what you don't want to do is come in high with very low speed and then you dump your brakes and you know that's going to uh, compute out into a very hard landing. But I just hope that this will help someone. I put this video together and I was just kind of excited to play around with the green screen and see how this, this all came out. But I really appreciate uh, everyone who's commented and everybody's support in uh, helping me to learn how to paraglide. And so uh, really encouraged. Hey, if you get a chance, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, love to see your videos if you're posting videos on YouTube or on steamit.com. Have a great day.